story. Now, tourism stakeholders drawn from Kenya and Uganda have muted a plan to market tourism products in both nations. They say both countries are endowed with a rich culture, unique safari and beaches, tourism products as well as historical heritage, making the two nations ideal tourist destinations. <laughs> In the first eight months to August, international tourists visiting Kenya rose 91% to 924,812, signaling a recovery for a sector that had been battered by COVID-19 pandemic. To further increase tourist arrivals, Kenya and Uganda have resolved to jointly market tourist attractions in the two countries. The complementary marketing strategy targets to foster synergies and diversity in cultures, unique safaris, beach and historical heritage that make tourist sites in the two neighboring nations ideal for travel. These people, some of them are retirees who have come to the coast one, two, three times and they come and are seeing the same thing. So why not bring the two operators of the, of the coast together with those of Uganda? so that they develop joint packages. International tourists arriving in Kenya's coast region can complete their excursions in Uganda, which have different packages from what Kenya offers. To that effect, Mombasa is set to host the Kenya-Uganda Tourism Conference from tomorrow that will, among others, discuss tourism products packaging, innovation and technology infrastructure to maximize the tourism potential in Kenya and Uganda. Uganda has a wide array of floral and fauna to watch in its parks and sanctuaries, spectacular landscape consisting hills and lakes which offer thrills for travelers. Kenya on the other hand is endowed with historical sites like the Fort Jesus, eye-catching beaches, marine parks, an elephant sanctuary, the dolphins and wildlife parks among others.